How's it going guys? Dan here from Who Figure Adventures and today is uh, Easter Sunday so happy Easter and it's also time for the Chris Chibnall Hour <laughs> so uh, yeah uh, Legend of the Sea Devils is on today very excited cheers to I mean we managed to turn this into a true thinking game <laughs> but yeah uh, Legend of the Sea Devils quite excited for this special so hopefully it lives up um, but yeah uh, without any further ado, roll well, the titles. That's our teaser for the centenary. That's pretty cool. Here he is. Oh, see, that was a back. We've not had a good TARDIS material realization shot in a while. Centuries off what I wanted. <laughs> what are you wearing? What she gave me. I can't leave you alone for a second. At least you didn't bring the hook. <laughs> oh, ow. Whoa. Give us a bit off. <laughs> <laughs> it's a type of curve. And I just caught a whopper. And we just missed about four scenes. How did we catch him? What? That's what that genuine that genuine is, my thing just jumped forward a bit. Why have I got force jump? <sighs> Make sure my father didn't die in vain. How are we gonna get on there? Swim, of course. Tardis. You're supposed to wander off. You like a kid sometimes. Thanks. What? Well, only sometimes. <laughs> Let's take a look at this ship. Wait, are we underwater? Shipwreck, bottom of the ocean. This and is like Legopolis. Bottom of the ocean. And you're gonna open those doors? Oh yeah. I've noticed ever since Eve of the Daleks, the Todd has been materialising a lot better. Which I know is only this episode, but Eve of the Daleks when they reset the TARDIS, in this episode, the Todd has been materialising better. That's like gone where it's supposed to go and stuff. I don't know if that's intentional or not. That should be pitch black down there, Not but. Day, am I? No. Something's missing. No ship, Sherlock. Not even the tiniest sign. Where's the ship? That scene is going to send Twitter into a frenzy. At the very least, there'd be a wreck. <laughs> Definitely in the right spot. And that scene too. <laughs> I always thought that I'd learn the constellations, but then I just downloaded an app on my phone. <laughs> what happened on my phone with me? What you say? You're not the first to say that. Mike. What's that? Man, the cannons. I thought she was about to say Merca. <laughs> Tardis console. Yep, that answers my question. Doctor. Definitely not Jody Amandip. <laughs> but this is our friend. Go on, Dan. You didn't have 
have to kill him. I took my ship, my crew, Ow. and my life. No mercy. It's starting. You know I said earlier about not being a bad date. Well, dates are not something I really do, you know. I mean, I used to, have done, and if I was going to, believe me, it'd be with you. I think you're one of the greatest people I've ever known. Wow. Including my wife. You what? Uh, I wasn't going to mention that. It was a long time ago. It was a different man back then. But the point is, if it was going to be anyone, it'd be you. I can't ask you to do that. The world out there isn't mine. But if I can help preserve it for others, all those centuries will not have been for nothing. You truly are a legend. And you need to run. It's just like the time of children again. Me, long time no speak, bro. Feels like a long time for me, anyway. I think I might have been missing seeing you, which is really weird. You're gonna be back here anytime soon. That's Dan's exit already written an okay. episode early. My nanny says, "Courage is knowing something will hurt." I'm doing it anyway. That's so specific. Mind you, she also said it's the definition of stupidity. <laughs> Can we just live in the present? Of what we have. Or we still have it. Sure. That was the end of Fasmin, folks. That's the one and a half episodes. <laughs> I wish. You can't say you wish out loud. Tell where I'm from. <laughs> I wish. I wish this would go on forever. <sighs> Man, we really need another series of these two. Okay, here we go. No regeneration, no life. Daleks. Aware of the forces that against you. Cyberman and Ashad. Yes, here he is. Ace, I haven't heard from the doctor for nearly four decades. Just because it's only an ace. <laughs> Doctor Who Eve of the Daleks and Legend of the Sea Devils is now available to pre-order on DVD and Blu-ray. Something's redacting the Doctor from reality and the world's only... Tegan Jafanka and Ace. Doctor Who now on. Right, I'm sorry, we just need to watch that again. Nothing is forever. No regeneration, no life. Okay, so Daleks. Ashad, the lone Cyberman. Somehow survived. Master as well, which is brilliant. Um, thank God, because we know we always need more Sasha Duan. A beardless Sasha Duan as well, but still. This is the day you die. This is the day she dies. Brilliant. Tegan Javanka. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, I know there was rumours of Ace coming back, but Tegan as well. I can't remember if there were a couple small rumours about Tegan, but obviously confirmed. If we got Tegan back, we have to have Nissa back. Because didn't RTD make them a couple in... Um, Pharaoh Sarah, Sarah Jane, I think it was. He made them a couple. 
But um yeah. Ace as well. Oh my god. It's only three decades for me. What is this? <laughs> wow. I presume that's unit that or something. Kate as well. Uh and Cyberman. Amazing to have Kate back again, hopefully in a more better role than she had in Series 13. I mean, yeah, it's good having her in Series 13, but she just felt a bit wasted. Dan, like, god damn orange space suit, but still I'm happy to see it back. Vinda, as uh, as well, amazing, which means we'll obviously get Belle back. Yaz with a gun? Who's that there? Was that Dan? Doctor, for nearly four decades, just because it's only three decades for me. Now that looked like Dan, but it also looked like Ace's jacket. I don't know, I'll want to take a proper look at that. Uh, Master with uh, long hair and beard. I presume, once again, he's been trapped somewhere like he did in Spyfall, and um, you know, I had to wait thousands of years or something like that, no doubt. And God damn we generation energy. <laughs> oh well. And she's shouting out for Yaz. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. So, Legend of the Sea Devils. Quite good, I quite liked it. It was obviously you can tell it wasn't really pl land um and was a very sort of last minute thing having this episode uh which was supposed to be part of series 13 um well the original series 13 and then the plan to that got school wrapped so when they got this extra episode um they thought they'll do the sea devil episode which i'm happy they did because it's a good episode a very good episode i quite liked it um Sea Devils, I thought, were... I don't know. I, bear in mind, I haven't really watched the Sea Devils. I should still have it on my shelf. Yes, I do. Um, I've not really watched the Sea Devils in a while. And, um, we're always a bit deep. I watched that a little while ago. Um, but I think I'm going to give them both a rewatch. Because they were not as I remember. Like, they had the sort of swords and... Um, well, I mean, another supposed to be pirate sea devils, but um, the sort of powers that they had in this episode. Of, uh, um, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I might be talking absolute rubbish, and I just need to rewatch those two episodes, which uh, I should have done before this episode, to be honest. But I didn't make enough time. But um, yeah, um, got quite a bit of Phasmin development, more than I thought we would get. Um, it all seems to be a bit, um, a bit like a closed book, really, with Phasmin now. But, um, oh well. <laughs> uh, I'm sure there'll be some more development on it in, um, uh, the, the Centenary, which is still untitled. I thought we would get a title for it. Uh, but no, we did get a pretty extensive trailer, which, uh, surprised me, to be honest. Um, Dan, as always, an absolute highlight. Uh, they saw a Granted the seed at the end for his uh, departure um, and having him go during um, the centenary and uh, seeing die and stuff like that. Uh, oh, we also know Bradley Walsh is back, don't we, from his set pictures. So um, uh, that should be good. Um, yeah, I'm very excited for the centenary. Uh, it seems to be very sort of uh, action packed. You know, I mean, we've got Tegan and Ace, Kate, Vinda, and the Master as well. So it seems to be very jam packed. Hopefully, it's quite an extensive special, which I'm sure it will be because it's almost quite short. Um, but yeah, um, Legend of the Sea Devils was very good. I quite liked it. Um, yeah, put that. I'm, I'm definitely going to have to give it a wee watch, but I think better than Eve of the Daleks, and certainly one of the best Chibnall era episodes, I think. But yeah, still needs a rewatch though, just to let everything sink in a bit more, and stuff like that. But, um, yeah. Very good episode. 
So, that is all for this time. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video of us watching Doctor Who, Legend of the Sea Devils, then please leave a like and a comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, at DanWFA. The link is in the description. Now I'll see you in the autumn for the centenary special. Oh, God, I'm not ready for that. It genuinely seems like yesterday I recorded Woman Who Fell to Earth. And now we're on the verge of recording a centenary. Wow. Ah, <sighs> oh dear. Anyway, I'll see you then. Bye!